Is everything in place? Almost. What do you mean, almost? I have spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control their post strings. They will do as we say. I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraph is forcing our hand. change overnight just because David Sarif willed it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us, on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal, it's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the very first prologue episode of my new series, Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution. And let's be honest, at least 90% of you saw this coming. But why is this a prologue? Well, because this is the game's introduction slash tutorial-ish mission, and we haven't got our cool stealthy abilities yet. Anywho, here we have our protagonist, Adam Jensen, walking and talking with talented scientist Megan Reed through the science labs of Saraf Industries. Jensen clearly has some reservations as far as the research is concerned, but whenever he tries to ask any questions or receive any information, they keep getting interrupted. There's something I should know about this place, about Sarif. Megan! Oh, see? We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow cells. Okay, but the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right, I'll double check that. You do that, buddy. Oh, and while you're at it, fuck yourself! You rude piece of shit! I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric! Oh, come on! Have I really been here long enough to know who the fuck Eric is? I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown he noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading that confirms my theory. I'll ask All David times. to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. <laughs> cappuccino maker! Fuck off, you monkey. It's like every time we start to get somewhere in our conversation, something randomly just fucking interrupts. Like... I don't know, Dr. Reed. 
All of this new technology makes me feel nervous. Honestly, Jensen, I don't know why you're so worried. It seems that every time we make- <gasps> Sorry, as I was saying, every time we make an exciting breakthrough, you have to suck all the dick! Ah, Dr. Reed, this is General O'Neill. Dr. Sevchenko was telling me you've made progress on the Typhoon. Oh, hello Irving Lambert from Splinter Cell. Anyway, here we take a look at a weapon known as the Typhoon being tested before we proceed to the elevator to continue our conversation. Dr. Reed, it appears that you're undressing me with your eyes. Jensen and Reed clearly have a romantic past, one that they begin to discuss before, guess what? You never guess, they're interrupted again! This time by an annoying reoccurring man known as Frank Pritchard. Good evening. Pritchard. The elevator soon reaches Megan's floor and she exits, leaving us and Pritchard in the elevator. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? As a matter of fact, you did, you ponytailed fuckface, just like every other fucking staff member in the bloody building. They should develop a general politeness and manners augmentation, and then distribute it to all the staff. I'll be sure to write it down and pop it in the augmentation suggestion box. You dick. Sarah, nice to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed yet, Jensen and Pritchard don't seem to get along all that well. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. And now we're off to speak to the head of Saraf Industries, David Saraf. So let's get chatting. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. All she has to do is show him her research. She explain it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural order when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential that exists within our own DNA. It's safer and easier than anything you Darrow ever did. Environmental malfunction. Laboratory subsection six. All lab chiefs, please report in. We'd better not take any chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know the code? Yeah, 0451. I know what you find. Athena, get someone to shut off the damn racket. Yes, sir. Okay, guys, so it appears that shit's going down and we're under attack, so we'll head to the elevator, enter the code, and head downwards. Pritchard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the micro chem labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. I know what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Pritchard. Pritchard. Okay, guys, let's get to the bottom of this. So we'll begin by crawling under this door and quickly making our way through the windy corridor so that we can suss things out. Hey, what's going on here? Whoa, what the hell is that thing? No, 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 no. Ah! Hey. Oh my god, ah! you monster! Ah! Well, there's nothing we could have done there to save those guys. So let's press on! Heading through the doorway to our left now, we'll remove the crate from in front of the vent and travel through it. When we get through, we'll make our way through yet another windy corridor until we reach the next room. In here, we'll immediately hide behind cover and prepare ourselves for the arrival of two armed enemies. <laughs> when they arrive, we'll use cover to our advantage and engage them. So, who is this guy that we're searching for anyway? I don't know. Just keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Hello there! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh no! Richard! He got what was coming to him, and in a minute, so will you. And now we'll continue to use the cover to conceal ourselves as we flank this dickhead before we... Where are you? Show yourself! Hey, fuckface! Huh? Aha! There you <laughs> are! Shoot him in the fucking head! And now we'll continue up these stairs and continue our defense. We'll now proceed through yet another corridor before reaching yet another armed enemy attack squad. Apparently, this Jensen character is quite the marksman. Oh, please. If Jensen was ever lucky enough to score a shot on me, and I'm not saying he will be, I'd have to be standing completely straight. <laughs> Irony's a cunt, ain't it? Covers for pussies, Jensen. Come out and face me like a... <laughs> nah, I'm good with cover. And now just one more idiotic dickweed to remove and... We're good to go! So now we'll head directly across the lab and through the door at the end. We'll then move down this corridor underneath this semi-closed door and approach the room at the end. 
Hey, you there! Open the door! Sure thing, Jensen, but first I just gotta get shot for dramatic effect. <laughs> hey! You'll pay for that, you evil bionic bitch! Yeah, you'd better cloak yourself. Now, can you let me in? Thank you. Okay, so here we are in yet another lab filled with bad guys. Let's show them what happens when they fuck with Adam Jensen. The first thing we'll do is flank our way around the lab until you're close enough to our first victim. Okay guys, I just checked and there is definitely nothing back. <laughs> that got their attention. And now we'll continue to utilize cover until we reach yet another suitable vantage point. Like here for example. <laughs> That's two down and two to go and this shouldn't take long. Ugh, okay, seriously guys, do you have a fucking problem with taking cover or something? Ha! <laughs> Ignorant fool! Taking cover serves no purpose whatsoever! I failed to see your point. Oh, a concussion grenade. Clever move. Now let's see if he'll actually capitalize on my momentary blindness. Nope! Hostile. Cop that, you dumbass! And now with the laboratory cleared, we'll progress through the doorway and down the corridor. And that concludes the prologue, ladies and gentlemen. Tune in next time because things are about to get interesting. Oh! Is that all you got, you gutless? Oh, hey, Megan. Uh...